Luai al-Sharif is a Saudi-born Arab who was raised with the tenets of jihadism and hate of Israel, but had a change of heart when he spent time in Paris and started getting to know the local Jewish community. Today, he welcomes Israelis and Jews to the UAE and is an outspoken social media influencer with a lot of pull. And here he is discussing the denial of of Jewish history and the myth of the word occupation, which is one of the big lies out there. I call it the original lie, the big lie, the original sin. Because the word occupation denies with the Jewish history in toto. It actually denies also the Quran uh, and the Christian text as well, because it basically posits that Jews are a Western white people and not an integral part of the Middle East, not an organic part of the Middle East. So here is um, Luai al-Sharif explaining this, wearing traditional uh, Muslim Saudi Arabian garb, uh, and he is the type of voice that we need to hear from more. There are many Arabs uh, and many Muslims who want to express these beliefs and thoughts, but they are stopped because they're afraid. Uh, so here's Luai al-Sharif being both courageous and honest, Truthful and also thereby a leading a path towards a real Middle East uh, alliance of Israelis uh, and Arabs and folks that want a pathway towards a regional stability and regional prosperity and regional walking in the path of Abraham. Here's uh, here's Luai Al Sharif. Is the conflict with the Palestinians as you see it today? Is it about 1947, the very existence of the State of Israel? Or is it about 1967 and the possibilities of working out a two-state agreement? Which is it? It's about, it's about, um, it's about year 1000 BC. <laughs> Explain. So I'll be very blunt and honest. The biggest misinformation that would be, um, would need our attention in order to move things forward is describing the Jews as foreign colonialists in their ancestral homeland. So in my uh, professional opinion, I would say, following the, uh, the, uh, the different point of views in the Arab world, the idea is not 1948 or 1967. The idea is the rejection of the, the Jewish people to be uh, uh, sovereign on their ancestral homeland. This is why I told you 1000 BCE, because King David was the second king of Israel that established the kingdom. And that who was the real the real founder, if I may say, because he was the one who proclaimed Jerusalem as the capital of, of the kingdom of Israel. It was Hebron before that. And this is the irony, David. You have many Muslims, my fellow Muslims, who believe, honor, revere prophets and kings of Israel named after them without making these kind of connections that the Jewish people belong to this region, belong to this land, are not foreign colonialists. The word Jew itself, by the way, was never used um, uh, before 5, 540, uh, 586 BCE to identify a, the group that was called the Israelites. But they were called the Jews because when they were exiled to Babylonia, the Babylonians asked them, where you guys are coming from? They said, we come from a land called Judah. We are the Jews. If the majority of the Israelites were taken away from the portion of the land that was called Binyamin, you would be now called Binyaminites. So the word itself, Jew, defies anyone who would say that the Jews are not indigenous to the land of Israel. Because the word itself says, I am a Judean, I am Judah, I am, I am uh, the, uh, the, the child of this land, which is now called, by the way, the West Bank. This is why the, the Israelis are still calling it Yehuda Shimron. And why is it called Judah? Because a character that is revered, honored, and respected in Islam and Judaism, Joshua bin Nun, when he entered the land, he partitioned it into 12 sectors, and that sector was called Judah. So you see what I'm saying, uh, uh, David, that the biggest misinformation is describing the Jews as, as conquerors on their ancestral homeland, a homeland that your ancestors and many of, of, of other Jewish ancestors lived in, and we as Muslims honor, revere, and respect. We respect and honor Isaiah, Jeremiah, David, Solomon, Habakkuk, 
and Daniel, many Muslims now are named Daniel in Saudi Arabia without making the connection that the name itself is Hebrew, it means God judges, and this, this prophet is from the line of Judah who was living in exile. I don't want to give a, um, a history <laughs> lesson, David, but I'm just saying this is very important in understanding the, the, uh, the dynamics and, and in, in, in understanding facts related to why Israel is there, because Israel has always been there. But the fact that Jews are sovereign on their national state or on their national uh, uh, homeland is an idea that, that doesn't fit with the narrative that looks and views Jews and Christians as always subjugated. So this is the real problem with those who refuse the existence of Israel. It's, it was never borders with Israel. It was never about borders or uh, which year is it, 1948, 1967. It's about the existence of Israel itself. And this is this is a problem that we need to solve if we if we really want to solve issues. I, I don't want to throw some diplomacy and tell you what what you hear in the Arab world or what you hear in the in the media by being so diplomatic. No, I just want to say the truth that this is a problem that we need to solve before we move things forward. I can only hope that millions of people will hear that answer that you just gave. Uh, what a probing, powerful answer it is. All right. I hope you enjoyed Luai Al-Sharif. I think he was uh, breaking down lies left and right, uh, and his social media work is very important. Uh, and so uh, may he continue to be, have, be safe uh, from the clutches of the jihad, which wants to destroy people like him very much. Uh, and may he and countries that support what he does, like the UAE, like parts of today's Saudi Arabia, continue. To, those parts can make they continue to thrive. And may we see a, a motion forward towards the Abrahamic regional, the Abrahamic alliance uh, of Jews and non-jihadists who want to see this uh, region flourish. And of course, other minorities and folks that live here as well. God bless you folks, wherever you are. And thank you so much for listening uh, to Yishai Fleischer TV, joining us on Yishai Fleischer TV, where we are looking forward to a, a better uh, Abrahamic Middle East region. Uh, and a time of Jerusalem uh, being the source of a light to the world as the spiritual capital of the world. God bless you wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave us some uh, some comments. We love to read them. We care about them a lot and share with your friends. Lots of love and lots of blessings from the land of blessings and shalom.